everything going on over in Russia right now, I've been getting a ton of questions about my SRVV rig because a lot of the Russian soldiers over there are actually wearing this very rig and a lot of pictures of it are showing up in the media. So without further ado, I guess it's time to go ahead and do a review of this sucker and let you guys know what I think of it. So that's what's coming up next, guys. Having used a lot of surplus Russian gear in the past, one thing that you notice when you pick this uh, chest rig up for the first time is just the quality of the materials used. So for instance, um, the pouches and well, everything I should say is made out of Cordera. It's licensed Cordera. It's the actual same stuff you'd see here on like a military IBA or something of that nature. So very durable, very rugged stuff just in the Serpat pattern. So very good pattern as well while we're on that subject. It blends very well in a multiple different types of environment as has been demonstrated over the past uh, few years since Russia has adopted it. it does really well there. Um, also, very high quality nylon. It's the exact same stuff that we use here in the States. Zippers as well are going to be YKK zippers. So very, very good construction overall. Can't complain about that. In terms of uh, what comes on it, you get your uh, mag pouches. I have them set up with a bunch of different mags in there just to kind of show what it will take. So here we have it set up with a couple of AR mags just to show it will work with AR mags. On this side here we have a couple of US Palm mags just to show because these ones are real wide. It showed that it will accommodate those just fine. We'll still close um, and secure those mags in place. On the opposite side we have a little bit more traditional setup here. We have two AK-47 mags. I believe we have a Chinese and a Yugo mag in there. You can see it does well. Take them out. One thing to point out is if you're using metal mags like you have here, it does have a divider in there which will help stop the clanking and clacking that will happen with metal mags. However, it does have the negative of if you're going to tape your mags up, uh, you can't use it there with that divider. So just something to take note of. And over here we have it set up with a couple AK-74 mags. I believe these are both circle 10. As you see, it fits just fine with those. Next to it here, we have this little pouch here. Honestly, not quite sure what would go in there. Uh, maybe a radio, a small radio, but I'm not sure. Here we have our accessory uh, pouches for grenades or signal flares, whatever you may use there. Also could be used for a compass and maybe even like a tourniquet you could also put in there and it will work just fine. Out front you have your mag pouches, but on the inside here we have these large pockets and these are on each side, so there's two of these pockets total. You can open it up and put a bunch of stuff in there. You can put more mags if you so choose. You could also put maybe a medical kit, a map, um, whatever you so choose. We all know those of us that have been in the field a good bit that in reality you'd probably just put some candy and other puggy bait in there. On the left shoulder strap we have this little pouch here again which I would probably use for a compass but a lot of folks will use it for whatever they want. Same size as the ones you just saw. Um, of note there's also these little straps in here so if you want to go ahead and run hydration uh, hydration loops through there you can do so. You can also run radio antennas in there so that way they're not just sticking out and you can have them secured down to your body. One thing I want to point out here is this little strap right here which as you wear it actually sits just below the base of your neck. Now most chest rigs, this one included, are designed to be worn with body armor as you guys have seen throughout the video but you can wear it without. But if you're wearing it with body armor I do suggest that if you have to drag somebody, pull somebody out of a vehicle who's wearing it, you actually grab them by the shoulder harnesses and not this uh, strap here. It may very well work just fine and I have dragged it around by there. But it just doesn't seem quite beefy enough uh, to be used as a drag handle. Your mileage may vary, but I would uh, just go ahead and grab the shoulder straps and call it a day. One thing that I really like about this is on the back here we have what I consider to be a dump pouch. Uh, I'm not sure what they call it, but a gigantic dump pouch that sits right at the small of your back. Also two small pouches that sit back here, which can be used for a number of different things. You can actually fit uh, the 74 magazines in there or the uh, AR mags will also fit in there if you so choose to use them for that purpose. But this stuff here, I know you guys can't feel it through the camera, but this is sort of like a water resistant uh, material. I'm not sure if it's waterproof, don't quote me on that, but it definitely is water resistant. And it, uh, you can dump your mags in there when you're done with them, keep them secured so that way they're not flapping out, and it's big. Just to give you an idea, I'll try to show you what's down there now. I'm gonna dump that out for you. A boatload of mags. And they were all in there, so I mean, we got, what, uh, 12 mags that all came out of there, so it's got plenty of room in there, and when it's not being used, you can just secure it down here via the strap, tuck all that in, wrap it over, and secure it. Alongside the bottom of the rig is a duty belt. You can take that off if you so choose by just popping these little tabs here off and taking the belt off, but I know a lot of guys do like to run, say, a sidearm or something like that on their duty belt, so the option is there if you so choose.
One thing that's always important whenever selecting any kind of gear is going to be price. These come to market right at $175 here in the U.S. And uh, speaking of here in the U.S., there's only one place to get them, it's Circle 10 AK. They are the exclusive uh, distributor for SRVV gear here within the U.S., which is great because uh, up until about six months ago, there wasn't anybody and you had to order direct and shipping was like $90 and it was like four months. It sucked. So, glad to see the guys at Circle 10 AK uh, went ahead and got that set up to be the distributor here in the U.S. So that is where you can get them. I'll put a link below in the description so you guys can check that out. Um, $175 chest rig, really not all that bad, especially if you're thinking it has the sort of authenticity of being uh, real Soviet gear, which I know a lot of guys out there like, especially on my channel because we have kind of a Kalashnikov following here. So, um, that's pretty much it guys. Solid piece of gear, uh, very quality, high quality in terms of build. and. Uh, a little bit on the high end for price, but really not that bad, especially considering what you'd be paying for it two years ago or a year ago. So it definitely has come down in recent years, which is definitely a good thing. Um, as always, guys, if you have any questions about, questions about this rig or anything else I talk about here on the channel, you can feel free to post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.